Well, we're back on Better Living. I'm here with Dave from Bell Tire. It is the season. We were just talking about it maybe snowing three inches on Super Bowl Sunday. Let's hope so for your advantage. That's customer. exactly right. But uh, anytime it snows, and even when it's just cold outside, there are a lot of things we need to be thinking about in our cars. Correct. Absolutely. So let's start at the bottom. Let's start with our tires. How does the cold and the snow affect our tires? Well, always best off if you can to have winter tires no matter what kind mm. of vehicle you have even a four-wheel drive vehicle folks with four-wheel drive vehicles say they can go anywhere you can go through snow better but it doesn't help you stop so that's what a winter tire really does for you it actually works chemically better the colder it gets sticks to everything ice cold pavement it actually works better that's definitely a much better option for for somebody and stopping is important i i absolutely. like to stop when i'm absolutely so when do i need to get those switched i mean is that something you do in december or is november it? when the average okay. temperature is below 45 degrees consistently that's when you want to change them and then when it rises above 45 degrees put your uh, all season tires or summer tires back on okay what what about tire pressure for somebody who i wouldn't even know how to check tire pressure i wouldn't have a clue well make sure you have an air gauge in your vehicle um the Air pressure for most vehicles, the proper air pressure is in the door jam. There's a placard. Mm -hmm. Every vehicle's different. You want to make sure your temperature's pressure's proper. When it gets cold out, pressure drops. So it's really important to keep keep an eye on that. Uh, and I mean, I'm guessing. I think my car will tell me. Most when vehicles tire now, is... some from 2008 on up, they all require a warning light for low tire pressure. But some vehicles don't have that, so it's important for everyone. Now here, I, I remember, and I, I may have been in like high school, so it might have been <clears throat> 25 years ago, uh, that somebody s taught me something about a penny or uh, and if the you tire put a quarter, tread, a quarter. The tread, see, I obviously right. paid a lot of attention. And it if was you 25 can see, years ago. You put the tire, we don't have a tire here to show you, but put the quarter in the tread. If you see George Washington's head, put the quarter in upside down, see George Washington's head, you need to replace your tires. There's not okay. enough traction to stop safely. And that obviously is something we really need to pay attention to now, even more so than in the summer, just because of all the stuff that's on the ground. Um, and I find even when the snow and ice is gone for a little while, all the stuff that's left behind, the salt, the grime, Absolutely. just really Absolutely. causes a problem. Let's talk about fluid. I worry about this a lot because sure. I am the queen of running my wiper fluid because the gets you know any time a semi or anybody goes by you stuff gets on your window and i think oh my gosh i got to be almost out of wiper fluid how often do i need to be checking that you should check it every time you get an oil change at the bare minimum and most shops including ours will top off your washer solvent okay. for you um make sure your gas is full gas tank is full a lot of people want to run on fumes like <coughs> causes <laughs> that might be i can give you condensation in your and your fuel lines, okay. that'll freeze, that can cause you a problem. But absolutely, you have to be able to see this time of year. Um, and you, when you're out of washer solvent, you don't know you're out of washer solvent until you go to use it. So keep it topped off, check it frequently. Wiper blades are also very important. Mm -hmm. um, wiper blades should be changed every six months or so. They're primarily made out of rubber, and that rubber dry rots and cracks, and they streak. And you can't have streaky wipers when it's snowing and raining. It really does make a big difference. It makes a big difference. And you don't know you need it again until you go to use them. You need them and they don't work very well then you're yeah you're makes in trouble. the commute stressful now this seems really common sense but i'll bet that if we go to our cars uh, most of us would not have all of this stuff in our car most especially this wouldn't. time of year it is essential that we have that emergency kit in our car and you've brought some things today sure. that need to be in that emergency kit certainly no one plans of breaking down especially this time of year so you have to be prepared so just a blanket um stay warm the vehicle's not running you have to stay warm if you have kids in the car you want to have a snack for them some bottles of water some gloves you might not have those with you and jumper cables actually batteries are a big problem this time of year um, the extra strain of the cold weather puts uh, stress in the battery they often fail in case that happens you want to be prepared and have a jumper cable so somebody can help you out and get you going to an air shop where you need to be I think people myself included we kind of get reliant on the our technology you know we Correct. think oh I've got the um, emergency thing in the car and I've got my cell phone I, I'm not gonna need I'm never gonna be stranded because somebody can get to me but first of all if they're busy taking care of everyone else they're sure. not gonna be able to get to you or 
it may take them a while to find you if you go off an embankment or somewhere. It just may take a while to get to you. Well, not around here, but there are also certainly places out there where cell phones don't work so well. Right. So you should be prepared. Absolutely. And, and what's in this little orange well, fun thing right here? You know, some of the stuff should stay in here, but we have... Uh, oh, here I got it. Thank you. First aid kit. Ah, yes. Um, a backup cell phone that's charged just in case your cell phone isn't charged. And rope. Have, rope, yeah. In case you have to be pulled out of something. And we used to have more gloves and things like that in here. Well, and here's the thing. For a car like mine, which is, well, a train wreck, um, it's, it would be good to have everything in Absolutely. a kit like this because then it's always there. I don't have to worry about, oh, I grabbed those Band-Aids out and I used them at a baseball game sure. or I, because that's what happens in my car. I end up using it and then it, it doesn't get replaced. It just, without fail, always right. happens. You have all of this stuff at Bell Tire. Tell people where they can find you here well, in our area. We have area. four locations in Toledo, one on Secor uh, in Alexis, one on Central Avenue in Sylvania, one on Fremont Pike in uh, Rossford, and one on Navarre in Oregon. All right. You guys have everything anyone would need. We do, absolutely. And you do all of the we'll servicing as well. check your battery for free. If you need, worried about your battery, it's more than three years old, come on down. We'll be glad to check it for you and make sure it's up to snuff. All right. Bell Tire here to help you get through this rough winter traveling season. We'll be right back on Better Living.